Hey everyone, welcome back to some StarCraft, and let's see what we got in our War Council equipped for this one. Uh, I don't use Reavers, don't really use High Templars, although we could use Dark Archons uh, at this point, so maybe we'll just swap over to that. Maybe I'll find some use for them. Uh, this, um, literally almost none of these matter. Um, yeah. Uh, Avenger... Maybe can be like the two things that are maybe useful are Dark Archons, Avengers, and Sentinels. Uh, for once, we don't use the Dragoon Annihilator, we're gonna go with the Void Rays that we are given in this mission. Finally, at last, uh, because it lets us skip a lot of stuff. So, um, as for the Solar Core, uh, Phoenix is a must have, absolutely. Uh, I mean, if you could squeeze our Guardian Shell somehow, uh, I'm all for it, but I don't know how I can do that even, so... Because I, I just can't. I can't squeeze it out at all. Um, we could get Chrono Surge as well, though, because uh, I don't use Deploy Pilot at all, so... Maybe we'll get uh, Chrono Surge in here. Um, I mean, even though we technically don't need Orbital Simulator now that we have uh, Chrono Surge, I'm still keeping this anyways. I'm not sure. Actually, uh, I mean, either, I guess any combination of this stuff, but I'm saying that the important stuff is probably Solar Lands. Uh, Deploy Phoenix, yes, 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 very much so. And as I said, if you're, I, I, I can't squeeze out Guardian Shell, so you're just going to have to kind of deal without it, I guess. Um, I mean, Matrix Overload is also pretty good anyway, so that's, that's fine the way it is. All right, to the bridge, and let's go. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done, Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Alright, here we go. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faze Smith. We will make good use of them. Yeah, they're okay. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. We're building exclusively them. And that's how we're going to do it. Because Void rays are actually always really good. Uh, we're also going to make an additional pilot. We're just trying to get our economy going here. I don't know what we're going to use a Chrono Surge on, but I figure it's better than nothing. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. So he's just going to send uh, units to attack us, and they're going to look pretty strong. Like, you're going to be like, oh shit, how are we going to deal with this? They are actually substantially weaker than what you would expect these kinds of units to be. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Don't get me wrong, they fucking hurt, but... Yeah, uh, they're not as bad as you think, basically, when you first see them. They're like, I, I'm not sure what that value is, like, I think they're about 66% of what the units are in terms of everything. Because they die quicker, they they shoot worse, and everything like that, so. So it's actually not that bad, don't worry about it. But I make a couple of these zealots just to, to uh, kind of hold this over. This warrior awakens. Uh, actually, uh, I'm not sure what 
I don't want to make also a server next floor. They're killing tanks over there, I know. We also have some gas deposits like right here. Pick these guys up. Of course you do. Yeah, we're we can make chrono surging now, but uh it's like whatever at this point. I figure I can maybe use it on some research like this one. But right now we don't want to waste it, so it's all good. Oh, we lost one of our void rays. The guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. All right, here's our nice stargates, and we have, yes, we have a lot of these, but they'll come in handy eventually. Uh, we just need to get our economy just slightly more going, and that's it. You have not enough minerals. We're almost at the point. Generally, I found I could sustain three gateways and literally make nothing else. <laughs> that's kind of just how it worked out. Hierarch, I was able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. And I'm starting to think that uh, I really didn't need Chrono Surge. Alright, we're gonna upgrade, we're gonna speed up the attack upgrades. That I found to be very useful though. And we're making, yes, we're just making exclusively just Void Race. We can actually start moving up pretty soon, because uh, we have Phoenix, and we want to use him when he's off cooldown. So we're gonna actually make everyone rally onto here. So generally what I do is we can just do something like this. Uh, yeah, something like that. And then we just plop down Phoenix over there, and that's it. He'll just kind of handle most of that. Have you come to bear witness to the end? Yeah, they're just they're shooting me. Oh, why is Phoenix useless and not even here? Did not shoot him. We need to run back now. We can also probably get some additional upgrades out of the way. I'm gonna get another Zealot in. Just so you can tank that guy. There you go. Make your preparations if you're so inclined. These upgrades also take a bit of your uh, obviously out of your the time that you could be making more of these void rays, but that's fine. Because we still have like solar lance and a whole bunch of other shit, so we're gonna just buy them under here. So now that we have the fog here, we gotta kinda just defend here and then that's pretty much it. I you can make cannons, but I found them to be very questionable sometimes. Because they just kind of die. I mean, they're good as a buffer, you know. But that's that's pretty much all they do. I like the pylons better for buffers. Because they give supply as well. I wonder if I could just, like, wall this off. Oh, well, maybe not. Now's not a good time to figure that out. We do also have the beams, so which I may be inclined to use very shortly. I'd rather not lose that Stargate. We have another attack coming from over here. And you can always use Phoenix, but I like to use the Phoenix on the attack. Commencing. 
There we go. Now these pylons are kind of in the way. I'd rather they die than anything else. Even the gateway is not a big issue. If you make cannons, they will be the first to get attacked, so. Amon's forces are gone. Now's your chance to attack the Guardians. Alright, so normally at this point what I do is I decide to go back up here and get the optional and this one right here. And that is what we will do now. Taldarim ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we all, we also have too many. We uh, need to get some more pylons out. Yeah, just go over here. We're gonna use the the beam to to kill them. By the way. We face the enemy. Alright. Yeah, this is all we kind of need to do. Oh, we missed one. We have destroyed a Taldorian mothership. Excellent. Only one remains. Oops. Oh, there's also this thing right here. That's fine, though. Just let our, uh... I'll just target these two guys down first. And where's the that guy? We gotta make sure that we get in there first before using our good friend Talendar. Sorry, I, I spoiled it. Oh, great. And let's get back. Another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. Alright, that went slightly worse than I thought it would. Just because I lost a lot more than I thought I would here. Oh, fuck it, asshole. Get out of here. All right, now we now we all kind of head back. Uh, actually, we don't need anything else out of this. We get armor now, and then now we have to remake that star get him, very unfortunately. That carrier did a lot more damage than I wanted him to. All right, we'll make like uh, two cannons right here. Now we have like a abundance of minerals that we're not spending. And the Terrazine Fog is happening soon. So, at this point, we're just kind of going to remake all of this, the shit we just lost, and that's it. Look, Solar Lens, already off cooldown, it's fine. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. It's honestly, it's not that bad of a mission, to be honest. I, I don't know why he took Chrono Surge with me. I could have taken faster shield regeneration or something. Because there's no reason I'm going to be using it at all. Because why would I waste the 75 energy? I just, uh, I can get these upgrades out super fast or something, but that's it. It's the only thing I can think of, really, to use with it. Maybe I'll use it on one of these guys to pump out a shit ton more Void Rays. Alright, here's your initial forces here. So, as you can see, they, they always get targeted first, so it's like basically a waste of 150 minerals, in my opinion. I'm just gonna use this beam thing, fuck it. That's what we use the beam for when there's like too many around, you know. Guys gonna die. Nope, I targeted that thing instead. See, that's what I mean. The cannons, that's the purpose they serve. Is to just basically have to do something else that is shot up. Oh, now they're attacking my other target. And by the way, this next one should be your last one in terms of with respect to. Uh, attacks to do because we're just gonna go we're gonna try and just narrowly get that one out without using phoenix and then we're gonna kind of pop up there and as i look at the minimap there's even more zealots 
It's like I said, this looks super bad in terms of like the amount of units I have. Also, they're killing my pro blood. The Tarazine fumes are gone. Continue your hunt, Artanas. All right, let's go. Let's get some air upgrades too. I did not want me to. I did not want to lose my uh, my forces like that. But whatever, it's life sometimes. All right, what we're probably gonna do here is we're gonna actually eat some of this stuff up. And he made a little time bubble, which absolutely does nothing against us here. You should have everything now, Face Smith. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. Do not fear death. Fear Amon. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. Yeah, it's just temporarily something to be over there. There's a couple of these guys. You know little of Alarak, or you would not aid him. Oh, what glorious deaths. You do well to promote my cause, Artanas. I only hope that is true. Alright. Now let's see if we can get all the actually I think that Oh, uh, there's a fucking uh this guy this guy needs to come over here. No, whatever, we're probably gonna finish this before we even get that because we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sit our good friend down here Phoenix and he's gonna distract them Actually, I don't want you splashing me and now we can just kind of focus this guy down we just did we just did At daybreak, you shall have your challenge. There you go, easy peasy. So we did it. Uh, we endured three cycles, and we—that means uh, we completed the mission before the fourth uh, fog cycle. I mean, I kind of just rushed at the end. Uh, that's what uh, Phoenix is really, really good at. Is he's he's excellent just tanking. Um, loads of hybrid damage because he just doesn't die really so that's why we use him on this mission particularly on the the two challenging ones which are at the back those are the more challenging ones to do and uh kill one of the guardians while the uh tarazine fog is active i mean i did this on my own at some point so it clearly can't be that difficult uh and that's it you're pretty good I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Taldarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the 
chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. There are new personnel awaiting your review in the War Council hierarchy. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this right? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Believe me, it is time to make preparations. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy. Servant to master. A constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim, with the destruction of Amon, and the revelation of his betrayal. I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are, and what they wish to be. Alright, we got some new shit here. Salt ships are now ready for your inspection. And it's, uh, here you got your Void Rise. And so these ones, what they do is they increase the damage uh, the longer they continue to attack. Uh, so it says deals increasing damage from a longer range as it continues to attack. Deals bonus damage to uh, armored units. So it says here, increases the damage dealt from the Void Rise as it continues to attack to a maximum of six additional damage. Uh, and that's like, th th that's really fast. It's like a beam weapon too. And as it increases, uh, it increases the range as the beam continues to attack up to a maximum of three additional range. Destruction is at Here's the other option. Uh, deals damage to additional targets as it continues to attack, and uh, just deals bonus damage to armored units, which they both do. Um, it's important to note here, this does not increase the damage of the units. And they don't even get, like... Like, it, it, they get more of a split the longer they attack, essentially. So, like, we can kind of see when they start their attack here. Uh, we'll see in the video in just a second. So, like, it, it kind of chains around. Which, I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's, they don't do enough damage. Uh, the guy the guy playing it almost forgot about the last pylon. Like, look how long it takes for him to kill this simple stuff, right? You know, he starts attacking. Yeah, it attacks one additional target, then two, and then eventually three. As it continues. So... I would say with the Focus Siege, especially because you'll get such long range that like you can you can just kill things from long range at that point, and then you know it increases their survivability. As you can see, like he's not even attacking the cannons there. So I I would say Void Ray Focus Siege. It doesn't really make them too much different from what the they normally are. Oh. We also got this guy. Walks up and down cliffs, attacks single units for heavy damage, deals bonus damage to structures, and attacks ground and air units. So it's uh, no longer a splash damage thing. It's instead a, a single target um, unit now. 
I mean, that's good, but you have to have something else to deal splash damage, basically, in like clusters of units. That's what Colossus are really good for, though. So it, it, it's just, it, but it also a lot enables them to attack air, which also isn't so bad, so. I mean, it's up to you. I'm not really going to use it, probably. The solar core is functioning perfectly, Hierarch. Carax, the keystone, it's reacting. To void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezin must be directly linked to the Void. The Taldarim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezin and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezin like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. All right, here we got some stuff to go. And I think now, I didn't even use the Chrono Surge. We can actually get Guardian Shell with Phoenix and uh, a little bit of construction time, obviously. So there we go, we got a bunch of things. I don't know if we're, this is what we're gonna stick with, but I don't know, I like Guardian Shell. That's pretty good. Uh, so we'll, 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 maybe, we'll maybe keep it like that. Let's you do some crazy shit, you know. Anyway, uh, I think that's everyone. Was it? Artifact what possible doing? source of void energy is emanating from Slain? Hybrid? I shudder to think what lurks below. Whatever, man. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Goodbye.